These are my goals in 2025 as a developer. So right now I'm in a really big building phase of my life. I think the past couple of years, I spent a lot of time learning, learning languages, learning frameworks, but right now I'm in a really big building phase of my life. So by far, my number one goal is to be able to make enough money from an app that I personally build to be able to live off of it. So right now I'm currently building an app called Monty. Currently it's a product where it's really just designed to help people automate their nine to five, make their corporate jobs easier. And the way that we're currently doing this is by bundling a bunch of tools into it so it's just like a productivity tool set and that's what we're doing right now it could definitely change in the future but that is what we're currently building and right now we're currently hovering around the 15 to 1600 dollar monthly recurring revenue mark after being around for two to three months so my crazy kind of unrealistic like moonshot goal for this year will be able to make a million dollars a year that comes down to roughly eighty three thousand three hundred thirty three dollars a month of recurring revenue a really really high goal especially compared to where we're at right now but then a more realistic goal i think but that that's still pretty hard to achieve would be a 300k year run rate which is going to be roughly around $25,000 of monthly recurring revenue I think at that amount that is going to be a good revenue number where both myself and my co-founder Ming Ming Duck on social media it is going to be a good amount of money where both of us can live purely off of the money that we make from our app so that is the number one goal that I'm going to be working towards if I can achieve that then that is a successful year for me that is the absolute top priority and honestly the way that we're going to be doing this is just building shipping and marketing a ton. I'm the main technical person, so I'm going to be building everything out. And then my co-founder, Andrew, he is the main marketing person. And we're going to try to scale our marketing efforts and go even harder this year. So that is the number one goal that I'm trying to achieve as a software developer. Now, the second goal that I really want to focus on for 2025, and it's a little bit less concrete, it's a little bit more hand wavy, is I want to solidify my safety as a developer for the future. Now we all know AI has just been absolutely crazy this past year. I feel like in 2023, when ChatGPT first came out, it was like, oh, this is really cool, but what do we do with it? And then in 2024 with like Copilot really getting better and then the AI code editors, like what, Windsurf, I think that's a really popular one, but personally I use Cursor and then Bolt.new coming out, just these really crazy powerful AI developer tools where you can legitimately build like full stack applications straight from just coding and chat prompting with it. Over 2024, I started doing that a little bit more. I started becoming a little bit more active on tech Twitter. Uh, your average tech bro, follow me there if you want. But I want to be even more active on tech Twitter because I really do think that's where the latest and greatest tech developments and tech news come out first before hitting the mainstream news. So I want to be more involved and just a little bit more in the weeds with the AI machine learning space right now and maybe even tinker around with my own AI models, self-hosting them, just trying to do some, I don't even know what exactly I would do, but just be more involved in that space. I don't wanted to pass me by and become like a boomer developer being like, no, you don't need AI. No, you need AI. If you're not coding with AI, you are like really, really lagging behind everybody else right now. And I don't want to be left behind. So that was a big, big action item for me is just to be more in the weeds with AI, just to become a better developer in this crazy age that we're living in. And then also, I also want to kind of solidify my safety in my career right now, as well as a developer slash builder, founder, whatever you want to call it, by also expanding my skills away from being a pure developer. I think right now we've kind of seen that AI is making knowledge really, really cheap. Personally, this is my take that I've also read on the internet, but I personally think that the way forward is you're going to have to be either such a domain expert in a particular field that you're even smarter than AI in a particular field, or you're going to have to be a super crazy generalist that can wear a ton of different hats and do a bunch of different roles. So in the case of building a software product or building a company, it'll be coding, designing, marketing, all that stuff mixed into one. And personally for me, I do not want to be a domain expert in anything. I know I'm not a domain expert in anything. That's not my forte. That's not my strength. So that's why I'm going to be leaning on being a much more stronger generalist, someone that can do a lot of marketing, someone that can do a lot of design, product management and development all into one. And I'm kind of already doing that with my current product Monty that I'm building. So I just want to expand that role even further. Specifically, I want to get even better at design, maybe, you know, take a couple of design courses, read a couple of UI UX design books, and then also leverage AI for designing UIs and interfaces as well. And then as always for marketing, I think the past couple of months, uh, while I've had my co-founder Andrew helping me out doing all the marketing for our current product Monty. I think I've taken a really big step back in terms of creating content in general, but I want to get a little bit more in the weeds in the coming year, just because I think marketing is one of the last things that will ever be completely automated or replaced by AI. So I want to become a better marketer again and really, you know, get my chops in a little bit more, get some more reps in just because I've been out of the game for a little bit. That is another goal is just to solidify my safety as a developer for the future. Now, so those are the two main like biggest goals that I want to 
have at the front of my mind. But then here are three smaller goals that I also want to focus on in the coming year. Number one is I want to launch a second SaaS product by the end of the year. Basically, I want to operate a company like a parent company that owns and operates a ton of other smaller multiple SaaS products that have a portfolio of businesses and then just to roll up all of the cash, the business, the revenue, all from all those tiny companies into one. That's my goal. I love having that. I love having that variety of businesses, new challenges, new products to build. And I really want to launch a second SaaS product by the end of the year. But I will only do that if my current product, Monty, reaches a really good revenue number. Because no matter what, launching a second product is going to introduce a ton of distractions. And I don't want that to happen. My main focus really is, you know, like I said in the beginning of the video, to reach that 300K a year, $1 million a year revenue rate. And I do think right now, Monty, our current product, is the best chance that we have at doing that. If we're able to create processes of growing the app, developers, hire developers, hire other marketers to help us out and take a little bit of the weight off of our plate. I would love to spin up another application just to start to diversify the revenue streams just to really start creating that holding company, that portfolio of software products. So that's another smaller goal that I have. Another goal is no new languages or frameworks to learn. I said this before in the past, but if you're someone that's really serious about building your own product, building your own SaaS business, you should not get tempted by the hype cycles of new languages or frameworks. Stick to what you know. And because most of the time you can build almost everything that you want with some pretty basic tools. And I know for myself that my current knowledge of my current tech stack, I can build anything that I want to. So I'm really committed to not learning any new languages or frameworks. That was actually one of my goals last year. And I committed to that. I didn't learn any new language or framework. So yay pat myself on the back for that one. And then last but not least, a really, really small goal that I had that's really not that important is to actually self host my own apps on a VPS. So currently I'm hosting all of my applications on Vercel using Next.js. And it's been great. It's a great user experience, but I know eventually it can get kind of expensive. And that's not an issue that I have right now. And quite frankly, if I get so much traffic on my applications that I actually have to pay a lot of money to Vercel, I think that's a good problem to have. That means I have a lot of users, but eventually I would want to self host it myself just to control those costs a little bit. And and then I also use Superbase as my backend provider for pretty much all of my applications these days. And I would love to self host that as well, since it is an open source technology and you can self host it if you want. And last but not least, I would love to self host some LLMs like Meta's Llama LLMs. I would love to self host that on my end just because, you know, paying for LLM usage is pretty expensive. So if I could somehow figure out how to self host that, that'd be incredible. Those are my five goals as a developer. Number one, it is to scale my product revenue to minimum 300K a year, stretch goal a million dollars year. Number two, solidify my safety as a developer in the future by becoming more in the weeds with AI, just getting more involved in the AI space, as well as developing my skills away from being a pure developer. Number three is to launch a second SaaS product. Number four, continue not learning any new languages or frameworks. And number five is to self-host my own apps on a VPS rather than using managed services like Vercel or Superbase. Those are my goals. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, comments. Would love to hear what your goals are as a developer as well. But anyways, thanks for watching the video. It's been a great 2024. Was an incredible year. I finally hit my goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for doing that. And I'm super, super excited to see what 2025 brings. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace.